In this tutorial, we will create one more 3D object and see the application of different 3D commands. So, in this, we will be creating this 3D object. So, let's see how to do that. So, for we are already in 3D modeling. So, at first, we have to switch to Southeast Isometric View. So, we will select SC Isometric. Then, we will give UCS icon. We will take fourth option no origin then if we study this object this object contains this 80 by 120 rectangle here and at the top and that need to be extruded by 15 thickness so at first we will create this 80 by 120 rectangle so for that we will uh, uh, give a rectangle command give the start point right click dimensions then length in x direction is 120 in y direction is 80 then click the direction directions and double click the roller for zoom extent then we will press pull it by 15 press pull click internal surface then give the direction upper side by 15 so this plate is ready now after that we want to create this portion so to create this portion the uh, thickness of this portion is 20 so at the bottom edge we will copy this edge on 20 so for that we will go to extract edges copy edges select this edge enter base point direction make ortho on for straight line give thickness of 20 so this portion is this line is created so we will just press pull it so height will be 50 plus 80 is the diameter 80 is the diameter that means 40 90 so we will press pull it by 90 so we will just say press pull select this portion and give a height of 90 so this portion has been press pulled so we will move back to southeast isometry so in this in this way so we will just see how it looks in conceptual visual style so in this way this object is created now here circle is there at a distance of 50 from the top so we will just copy edge this edge enter base point direction so at the bottom we have to go by distance of 50 So okay the height is not correct so we have to reduce this 15 actually so we will press pull it back and reduce this by 15 so we will reduce the height by 15 press pull <coughs> because 15 is already there in the previous press pull so we will reduce by 15 use 15 okay so now it is correct so here we want to draw a circle so for that uh, to change the UCS automatically you can also use the dynamic UCS so just click on this button so dynamic UCS is on just give the circle command C enter then take uh, go inside this portion circle then uh, just go inside the portion so it will highlight that plane and just on this midpoint I want to draw a circle of 40 radius so in this way it has been created so I don't want this corner uh, corner edges so th those edges I can remove using press pull again so I will just say press pull I will take this portion click on press pull take this portion the corner and go inside and just click so it is removed again enter to repeat the press pull just take this portion go inside and click so this portion is removed then we want a circle at the here 32 diameter circle is there so we will create one circle there again circle center point here at the mid so it is creating in top so at first we have to select the plane we are using dynamic UCS so go on the plane at first 
plane is highlighted then go at the location where you want to draw the circle so it will be drawn in that plane so we want 32 that is 18 18 radius 18 is 36 so we can say diameter 32 so here a circle of 32 is drawn so we don't want this line we will erase it select and erase now we will press tool and create the hole inside there so just say select this portion go inside and click so hole is removed and we don't want this circle also so we will just select it okay for uh, easy selection we will switch to 2d wireframe now we will give erase select it and erase it so it has been removed now we will switch back to conceptual now we want this portion to be on this side also so this is a complete one side we will use a mirror 3d so just give mirror 3d <coughs> mirror 3d enter then select the object enter then give right click and say three point so we will be mirroring at the middle of these lines so we'll just say mid of this line so those three point will defend the plane around which you want to mirror so this is second point and this is my third point and uh, i don't want to erase the source object just say no so it has been mirrored on the opposite side so these uh, these are two separate objects now so we'll just union them to make them one so just say union and select both of them so both of them will become single object now it is a single object then uh, we have to create now top portion so here is a circle of 80 diameter outside so we will create a circle so we will create a line a reference line from mid to mid so from mid of this line to the mid of opposite line and now here uh, we will create a circle of 80 diameter 40 radius so just say circle and give the midpoint and give the radius of 40 then again internal line I don't want so I will just erase it go to 2d wireframe erase select the internal line again switch back to conceptual visual style then just press pull this circle by 20 height so press pull go inside the circle give the height of give the direction and give the height of 20 so again their internal hole is there so it is of 60 so i will need a circle of 60 diameter so again circle at the center of this this circle so it is not showing the center so i will just make okay i will just say shift right click center so center of this circle it is highlighting just click on that and give the radius of 30 just say enter so 30 radius circle is drawn then I want it to be press pull by 15 depth so I will just say press pull go inside go down and give a depth of 15 so this hole is created of 15 then there is one more hole is the of dia 30 that is 15 radius so at the bottom at the center of the bottom circle so i will just say circle again and i will click on this center point and radius of 15 so this internal hole is ready here so again i will say press pull i will click on that internal circle then just go down and click so internal hole is ready so in this way this object is ready you can color this object just right click on the home then show panels and say properties just select the object and from here you can choose the desired object so suppose I, I want green just press escape so in this way this object is ready so we will stop here thanks for joining